Welcome to the Santu Pearls stock market commentary video, your weekly window on stock market technical conditions, featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for April 29, 2018. Market breadth with this past week's market fractional decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 0.90 fell from 1.05 last week, declining back into bearish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns decreased 2% to 2,753. The count of bearish stocks decreased 6%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 9%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now one week in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the open office calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. To receive the weekly Santu Pearls stock market commentary via email free of charge, Simply enter your name and your email address in the spaces provided and then click subscribe. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, fell 69 points for the first decline in three weeks. At a positive 34.79 points, it continues below all 10 tops above plus 100 in the last 30 months and continues above all five bottoms below minus 100 in the last 30 months. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume higher than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had three accumulation days and two distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode on lower average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily at a positive 35.03 is down from a positive 62.73 last week, after last week having six days above zero for a Woody's trend change to up. This week, the CCI 20 daily passed from above the plus or minus 50 range to below it without a pivot to the upside, so that a valid zero line reject long entry signal has not yet been triggered. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 104 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend one week ago. The CCI 20 weekly fell to a negative 34.95 from a positive 18.07 last week. Still within the plus or minus 50 range required for a valid zero line reject long entry signal if the CCI 20 weekly rises next week. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are negative. Summary, oil, oil services and S&P retail on top, some tech on the bottom. Bullish S&P retail has entered the top five. REITs has left the bottom five. Gold and silver has left the top five. Bearish oil and oil services continue in the top five. Semis continues in the bottom five. Disk drives and computer hardware have entered the bottom five. Networkers has left the top five. 
Focus this week, where is Bitcoin now in relationship to some educated long-term expectations, courtesy of some well-educated and well-considered Twitter posts. The first chart, there are almost 28.5 million Bitcoin wallets that hold more than 0.001 BTC, according to at BitInfo charts, nearly 0.5% of the total population. This is where we are on the adoption curve. And this is the tweet that shows the chart from Vlad Decrypted Stan. This, this bell curve shows the participation in Bitcoin of the general population. And this is where we are right at this point, 2.5% innovators. We're not even in the early adopters phase yet. So there's a long way to go for Bitcoin participation to peak, as you can see as evidenced by this predictive chart. The next chart we can look at is from another Twitter account. Someone created a site to track the McAfee curve. And this is the predictive curve as John McAfee sees it for how Bitcoin participation will increase and actually the price rise. And this was from July of last year and uh, going off into the future. And this is where we are right at this point. And uh, it, when Bitcoin spiked right around Christmas, we were actually above the curve, as you can see. And right now we are just beginning to reach the point of the curve where according to the chart, there is the possibility, the potential for Bitcoin to really take off. And we are not offering our own opinion on this matter. We are simply showing these charts that express the opinions of others. This tweet, Bitcoin is doing fine on the road to 1 million USD, according to McAfee prediction curve C. You are the master of maths. By just looking at the graph, you can see the adoption grows as time passes. Have a nice day, sir. This is this tweet on Twitter with the chart, which shows the projected price of Bitcoin if Bitcoin continues to rise as it has in the past up to 1 million USD. Uh, take that as seriously as you would like to take it. It's simply a tweet, a chart that we came across and thought that perhaps you would be interested. And according to the chart, looks to us like we're on track. So we shall see where that goes and how that story ends. Hope you're all tuned in. Thank you for watching this week's Sand to Pearls stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. Hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you are looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, and wishing you true success.